All right, so I'm going to do a uh, pros and con test print uh, video on the LX610. Now, I'm going to tell you just a little bit about this. I uh, actually wanted to order this before the Epson C6500A. Eh? And uh, because this is a print cut on-demand machine, so it'll actually print and cut with a regular cutter. The same kind of uh, cutters that you would find on like Graftex. Um, it's a it's it's a standard piezo spinning blade type cut, and uh, you know just after having this for a little bit now and testing it, you know I I think this is a great printer. There's here's the things I, I love about this thing. So it is a cutter print cutter, so you can print and cut contour cut, and but the only downside to that is on top of the price you pay for this, you got to pay for the. Uh, Pro version of the uh, software to do contour cutting. Not, I mean, custom contour cutting. See, it's pro. If you have the regular printer, uh, program that comes with it, which is free, you could do a lot of these. You just hit uh, library and you could do these for free, all these, but you can't draw your own and set layers like all this. You have to have the pro to do custom layers. So, on the on the screen here is just standard uh, template in the library. That's all it is. So um, just going back, I don't want to make this too long a video, but okay. So the things I love about it, it's a print cut machine. Yeah, it's not going to lamb, but a lot of a lot of labels we don't need lambed inside. Um, the other thing I love about it is you could do pigment and dye ink. Right now there's dye ink in here, and also uh, when you replace the inks. You know, the ink head is built into the, the, the die. Uh, I'm sorry, the the ink caps, the the nozzles, the ink heads are all built into the ink uh, cartridges, just like the L502, the Affinia one, um, which I liked about that. Um, the only thing I didn't like about, about the Affinia that it, it has such small print, uh, uh, what do you call it, ink size or whatever, same as this. This is smaller even than that one. I mean, but I print a lot. Actually, it's going a lot longer than I thought it would. So I, I would bet the Affinia is uh, 502. I bet you that's very efficient as well because I think this one is. So anyways, you you can replace that ink head on demand, pigment or uh, dye, which that's awesome. I've only been using dye. As you can see, it's dye ink. So that's what I, I – the most two things I love about the machine. Okay, what I would only use this machine for, what, it, what my intent is, is to print custom contoured stickers on demand, short run decals, you know, 100 or less, something like that. Um, I would not use this machine as a pre die cut machine. I don't like this setup with the guide holding it in here. Yeah, it works, but I wouldn't trust the alignment being that good as the Epson. You can adjust the Epson on the fly too, but. Um, I wouldn't trust the alignment as far as getting full coverage print on a two inch die cut, square, triangle, circle, whatever. I mean, would it work? Yeah, I have not tried it. I'm sure it would work and it would work okay. It would be okay for non full coverage on those uh, size I mentioned, but um, for pre die cut, no. There is sensor that, there is a few sensors actually that I didn't know. Um, but for the for the custom die cut, it's perfect because it prints out and cuts out what you want. So let me shut this. And also what I like about it is it comes with software that gives you the price uh, per jobs also. So I just did this test on these four right here. That's uh, They're about one and a half by uh, one inch with those cuts. And the cost for that print was about eight cents. And that's built into the 610 software. You get that with it. Um, of all the testing I've done, I still have 80% of my roll and 80% of my E, which I'm quite surprised to be honest with you. I've, I've wasted a lot, man, just learning. So here's the, here's the, here's the software for printing. Uh, I'm gonna look up one thing really quick because I wanna mention, I wanna mention the, uh, sensors really quick just to get it right I don't want to get it wrong here but if you look under the the product page and go to uh, specifications 
it gives you information here. So for media sensing, it says movable see-through sensor for die cut labels. <clears throat> there is a mechanical uh, slider in the back for that. And there's a reflective sensor for labels and tags with black stripes. So it does read the black stripes on the back. And it says you can also use continuous pre-printed labels and tags. So it does have that. Um, but I don't think it's very accurate on the uh, um, lining up the decals, you know, just in the feeding. Uh, but it does ICC color profiles, 16.7 million colors. Um, the prints are really good. Now I'm going to go back and talk about the prints. I really like the print quality. I've done a quick test here on some of the ones that I like. And I just write it down where I like the color to be. And they're just kind of, you know, where I like it to be. Sorry, I had to cough there and I didn't want to cough at the screen. So I found my settings that I like on there. So getting back to it, what I don't like about it is um, the feeding system. It's pretty similar to the Epson where you just slide this out, you feed it in, and um, it grabs it and pulls it in. The other thing I don't like, but I, I can't say it's a bad thing because the price of the media is not bad. When you're doing uh, die cut, cut, custom die cut, you have to use their media for the continuous fed media and we we'll tell you and show you why because you get every, every roll that you order of the continuous stuff it comes with this sim card but what that does is it tracks how much you can't just take this off and put it on a new roll if you put this on a new roll you can run that media but you're only going to get the projected feet that this sim card is going to i think it's 200 or 250 something like that um you're only going to get that no matter what row you stick this thing in because it will pop right out but that's all you're going to get once it hits that that threshold it's going to die that sim card is going to die and you're going to be left with that media that you're going to have to run on here so yeah can you run this on other media you can but you you're only going to get the the projected feet on the distance on that sim card so that's the only downside as far as the media it will run any manufacturer die cut labels um that you want already pre die cut that's fine there's no chips on those it's just for the continuous feed on the uh, custom so um the video is going a little bit longer than i want let me pause again all right i'm back so we get in focus there so so that's my main pros and cons um as far as the cutting part it's been pretty successful uh, i also love that you can you can print on magnet and score it and score with the blade that's in here you can contour tuck, cut your magnets which is great we've already tested that we actually have a few here that we are played with these are magnets so you basically just cut it it kiss cuts it just like you would on a regular violin cutter and then you just peel it away the print quality on that was awesome too and, and again that magnet material the continuous fed has to be bought through them it has to be them or the thickness has to match and then probably um you would just switch over the uh, what do you call it the sim card and these are three cores also and they hold six inch so same as the Epson internal um, there's no fancy display just uh, pause feed and uh, unload and it does just that you unload it feed you could just push it and it'll automatically cut it because it has a cutter that automatically cuts I like that and that's what I liked about that that's really handy if you if you uh, if you have a hundred you know stickers that let's say the customer wants cut out individually you could have a cut, print, die cut, you know, contour cut, and then cut, and then have it just drop in a box right here. So you can have every one cut individually instead of you having to go back. Some of the media, like uh, from online labels, they come pre-perfed, uh, you know, which people don't recommend. But um, with this, obviously, it'll cut it, and it'll just cut each one. But you could do two up circles with the, the, the size media that they allow. It's like four and a quarter. So you can actually get two up two up two up on this so when you print two inch obviously if you go smaller you get more so um but i'll go ahead and do a quick test on uh uh printing four i'm going to show you now i already did one just to show you what the cuts are going to be like because i'm not going to pull each one but i'm going to video doing these printing but i'm not going to pull every one but that's what they're going to look like when they're when they're printed and contour cut okay so i'm going to do we'll do three and I'm going to do a mid-range. This is what I would probably print every job at. So you just go to print. You go to uh, quality. I'm going to do quality two. 
and then leave it on polyester because that's the material that's in there. Now, if you play around with each one of these profiles, you can get better colors, different. But um, for the sake of this video, I'm going to leave it on polyester, leave the saturation, bi-directional printing. If you do uni, you'll get a little bit better print too. Um, and then I found that this is the best medium between on doing everything. So we'll go ahead and do three, three sets of these stickers. So you'll get 12. And this is going to be... Um, I'm going to do this without pausing. So I'm going ahead and sent that. This is how long you'd expect to take to do these uh, 12 decals print and cut with this setting. So I'll shut up for a minute so you can watch and see it. So when you see the blue light, it's actually uh, doing the contour cut on each one of those. And when you get to straight edges, it goes fast. I mean, you can control the speed too. When you get on the turns and the um, weird contour shapes, it can take longer depending on how you set it up. But circles, lines, stuff like that, it cuts fast. So it's already finished the four, first four. Cut, it's actually cutting the second four. So again, this is the LX610 by Primera. It's a color label printer. If I could manage to do this with one hand, I'll do it. But So it already printed the 12, now it's going to cut the last sec set of uh, four. There's no network connection on this printer, um, but you know I don't see that being a big deal. So that's it for the uh, 12, so I don't know however long that took. So it did 12 decals at uh, printed, die cut, and a, and a mid range. So here, I'm able to pull it off with one hand and it's actually coming off. I have the cutter set up pretty good. Yeah, I'm just going to keep doing it with one hand just so you can see that it cuts and contours really well. In the last one, uh, it caught a little bit of decay, but I'll pull it off. There you go. One handed, so hey, what am I going to do? Uh, that's the uh, matrix. So there it is 12 at one and a half by one cut. Now you could have got away with getting more on that sheet if you really want to. I can't focus. For so you can see, and then there's a cut in the middle of the, uh, the circle, the ovals, or whatever you want to call them. Let's see, photo quality. So you can zoom in there. So that's how long you would uh, expect to take to cut those. Let's see the pricing. What it what it comes up as on that. Three prints at seven cents each. See that top one? Focus. Three prints at 0.07 cents. If I were to print those, it would tell me that you can get 1,005 prints off of a roll at that setting of those. And one print means one sheet of what's on your screen, not one sticker. So you get 1,000 of this. I think it's two by three. I'm not even sure what that is because it's one and a half by one. So you get each one was seven cents to print that. That's pretty good. And you can see the ink remaining and all that. So, um, But again, this is with the, the pro software. I believe you get that pricing information with the pro software too. You don't get it with the free version. So that's my uh, that's one of my tests here that I'm going to do on the LX610 and my pros and cons. I, you know, I'm sorry that if I'm a little all over the place, I'm, I'm talking about it. But I'll be honest, I'm really excited about this thing. It's going to be a great short run custom decal job um, that I don't need the lamb. If I need, when I need to do other, I got eight and a half uh, by continuous uh, vinyl for this. So then I'll print lamb and cut on my graph tech. But this is going to be for everything that I'm going to do that's going to be not lamb, uh, dye, or pigment on uh, custom dye cut stickers i mean hey what can you ask for it's the premiere lx 610 um i wasn't paid to do a video obviously i don't do great videos but you know i get to the point so like i said the pros it does pigment and 
dye inks and the ink heads replaceable every time you replace the ink. So you don't have to worry about the heads going bad because that it comes with your uh, ink. Ink is $71 around for one cartridge, which is, again, fair. For what I've already printed, man, I can't believe it. Um, this is the holder. This Your chip goes on this side, and this is there's, it's connected, so it, the sensors are detected how much uh, you've used. Power, USB, and the switch is on the other side. And then if you look in the back, there's, there's your sensing uh, slider. So um, that's it, guys. That's the LX610 demo and my pros and cons, what I think about this printer. What would be really awesome? If this did eight, eight to eight and a half inch wide. Man, it would it would compete with the BN20 big time. But the fact is, you know, it's not, it, you would have to still lamb it if you wanted to compete with printing and cutting. The BN20 is super slow. And, uh, you know, back when it first came out, I almost bought it. I'm glad I didn't because it just seems like, you know, I like rolling. I definitely like rolling, and I worked for a rolling dealer for years. But it just seems like it's a lot of money for an entry level vinyl cutter. Like you just buy an SP three hundred or I or like some of the older one, it would do way better than that. Um, but you know, hey, if you want something to print and cut, and you're not working with big, I mean, you can do four inch by twelve inch decals with contour cutting in this. So you can you could still take them out, cut a four by ten die cut label and then use like a, a, a liquid uh, lamination like frog juice or something and then boom you're out there ready put it on a car you could do graphics for cars but hey print cut you can't go wrong for uh, that price I think it, I got it for uh, twenty three ninety five. it was 24 but um, they were on back order so if you're, if you're looking to get one get one of these for sure um, for die cutting for custom die cutting so that's it LX610 thanks for watching like subscribe share hit that notification thanks guys